Sim Chow, what's up everybody? You know how it is, we're in Singapore. So as usual, we're gonna take the metro into the city, the MRT. So we gotta go to Terminal 3 first. And then we gotta switch lines after two stops into the city. Absolutely a breeze in the airport, as usual here. They really got their shit down here. Comparative to Saigon, which was a total nightmare. Checking in this morning. It took about two hours to get checked in. It was, uh, immigration was terrible. They were taking like a minute or two minutes to check every single person in. But yeah, I'm excited to be here. So we're gonna take SkyTrain, then we're gonna go check out the hotel. We're at a capsule hotel. So next time you see me, we will be reviewing the capsule hotel. Super high rated, so let's check her out. If you're new to this channel, I'm a world traveler. In the next week, we're gonna be in good old Singapore, and we're gonna do a lot of vlogs here. So I'm gonna help you look at what you can possibly do in this city and things that you possibly wouldn't consider doing here. So see you at the hotel. On the SkyTrain. Again, this is a really good city. Like a lot of these Asian uh, countries, it has a very good connected metro to a SkyTrain system that easily allows you to get out of the airport and into the city. I would not recommend getting an Uber or take a bus. Always take the metro when you're in amazing cities like this. Hong Kong, Seoul, you know, everywhere that provides the option for you to literally just jump on a subway MRT style thing and then transit to another station and then get you into the city. It's the way to go. Just like if you've ever been to New York and stuff like that. So now... <laughs> Show you a little bit here. Now we've got to go to MRT station at B2, train to the city. And we'll get a card and we'll fill her up. Just like you would do in Hong Kong and all over in different various places in Asia. You really can't beat a good metro. That's why if Ho Chi Minh ever really gets its act together and implements the actual subway metro system and then gets a card like the Squid Card or I forget the name of the one that's here. Or octopus card it is in Hong Kong. Each one of them have these card systems. I think it's the line card in Seoul. Well, it had line characters on it last time I was there. So, I mean, that that's the way to do it. And then you get all the companies to connect into the system. And you can just fill that card up and use that card for pretty much everything. Beautiful airport. All kinds of good food. So, if you are hungry, there's a Jewel. I think it's called the Jewel Mall. Something like that. has a lot of delicious food. And it's got that fountain. That you've seen a dozen times we are not doing that today i want to go drop off my bag because it's full of camera gear so now we'll see you at the hotel all right so we're off the subway we're at my stop hps everywhere Ah, Singapore is quite a beautiful place. Right here on the water, right as you pop out the subway. It's a cool little area right here. Five minutes away from the hotel. So we'll do a little crank and hoons. Hmm, cranks. Oh, there's a McDonald's right here. Oh, a lot of people crank the hooves. Hmm, cranks. So it's not like Hong Kong where they have a little circle, it's just an area. I love it in Hong Kong, it's like a little circle they draw around a trash can. We'll grab something to drink. I see some nice bikes. <laughs> Ducati. The 
pub right here by my place. This looks like a nice little spot to come drink some some booze at night that I'm by. Oh yeah, this is a cool little spot. So I'm gonna adventure. You've gotta walk over there to smoke at night. Oh, it's sports bars. Awesome. Pretty cool so far. I've only been here once, a long time ago. So I don't know shit about Singapore. We can just act like I've never been here. Because my knowledge is of zero here. So we'll just act like I've never been here before. So far, so good. I'm keen to go see the hotel. It's in a pretty good location. It is a capsule hotel. I want to get something to drink. Let's go to that McDonald's. Let's see what's on the McDonald's menu. I, I do want to have Shake Shack as the first meal, so I'm just holding out for that. I think we're going to go film the cable car. We're going to do Universal Studios. We're going to do a lot of tour stuff and then my style stuff, walking, like we're seeing now. I saw McDonald's somewhere down there. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey D's. It's down here, right? I could be tripping, but I think that's what I saw, yeah. There's a lot of nice bikes. Bikes are definitely nicer here. Must be more accessible and more affordable to get bigger CC bikes, or people just have more money here. Probably a combination of both. It's a McDonald's 24. Let's see here. Okay, gotta use the screen. Start order, take out. Let's see what's on the menu. A Galaxa Delight Prawn. So they have a prawn burger. They've got chicken just like in, what's popular? Original Angus cheeseburger. That sounds pretty good. Might have to do that. Looks interesting. Let's just keep it what we're here for. Cold drinks, Coke Zero. We'll go with the medium. Had to order. So we'll definitely come and try the unique stuff they have here. That prawn burger. And some of the other things that you can only get here. Everything's touchless card here. Pretty cool. Everything is touchless card here. Turn the camera so I don't get it. I mean, it's insane how quick it is. Great system. I'm number 69, no, 79. So let's take a little walk around Singapore as we're going to the capsule hotel that I'll be staying at for a few nights. We are on Bo Kwe right now, which is a prominent drinking area. I had no idea it was. My hotel was in this area when I booked it, but not a bad thing. We can definitely do a live stream here tonight. So far, it's been a good trip. Uh, airport sucked in Vietnam. Airport great here, one of the best airports in the world. You know, the metro system's awesome here. It took like 25 minutes to get here from the airport. Super easy. Wow, there's a lot of bars here. I am hungry. Yeah, pretty interesting area. Bunch of sports bars. <laughs> Later. $9 pints, so that's like seven bucks, I think. Not crazy expensive. People had me thinking I was going to spend like $20 a beer here. So far, not that bad. Muay Thai. I am super hungry though. So I need to eat. 
get rid of all this equipment. Got like 20 kgs of shit on my back. <clears throat> and go eat somewhere. Gonna have a safe meal is the first one, as we always do. Let's see. Four minutes. To the left at King Ra Ra. The weather's really nice today. A lot of people. Drink. I we were looking. Definitely in keto right now. I can feel it. I'm a machine of perfect health. Not really. <laughs> Oh, all kinds of different restaurants down here. Pretty awesome. You got an izakaya old place over here. Yakitori. You can get some sake, some beers. Asahi. Very dry. This place is awesome. Maybe we'll get something to eat here. Ooh, Jinro. Soju. Lots of good looking places here. Everybody's another izikaya. Let's see. I think I gotta turn here. Yep. It's kind of a cool little area, cool little streets. One more down. Oh, that's pretty awesome the way they do the venting. Okay, then we gotta take a right and then a left. This whole area is drinking. Wow. I'm stoked for this. Look at the squiggly lines. Awesome. Not an incredible amount of tourists here at all. I was surprised. Definitely not a tourist, you know, destination right now. So many places to eat and drink. It's pretty cool. Oh, I see the land of tigers. Tiger. Three bottle for ten dollars. Oh, three bottles for sixteen dollars. Oh, that's crazy. They got the big bottles of Tiger here, though. Hotel is down here. It is a capsule hotel, you'll see. So far, this is a great little area. People really love their masks here. Masking is way more intense here than Vietnam, than anywhere I've been ever. Like, people love a mask here. Someone's telling you to put one on every like four seconds. Oh, we should be there. Oh, here it is. Cool. Let's check her out. Okay, we're heading up. Do I have a top? Top or a bottom bunk? Uh, it's a bottom bunk. Top lead. Usually you want to get a top on a pod, but that's okay. No top ones available? Uh, currently, no. Yeah, everybody stays on the top. <laughs> Do you prefer to stay on the top? Yeah, yeah. who doesn't? It's like a shower on the side. 
Gotcha. Wow, they've got a smoke area. I know it's a small oh. pantry. Oh, so pantry. Space, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. So just touch the screen. Seven three. My what? Bit number. Because they all look the same. So oh, I'll okay. just label it for you. Sure. Would you need a locker for your belongings? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty bare bones, but. Rest. Well, I'm not gonna rest. <laughs> okay, here it is. Super bare bones. I can't be loud. There's people in here sleeping. This is pretty much a hostel with a little door. Interesting, for sure. Usually not the way Fat and Broke lives, but it is very expensive in Singapore. Like maximum velocity expensive. So it is nice, it's clean, it smells good. You know, you've got a toilet in here. It's fine. You're not gonna get a kingdom for you know, 50 bucks a night in Singapore. But it'll be all We'll make sure we go out and party and get drunk and coming back and sleeping will be no problem. What do I give this capsule? I've been in such better ones with more privacy and more things. It seems they really did bare bone. On the fat and broke scale, I'd give this like a 4.2. Pretty low. You know, you could do so much more with that. Uh, the capsule one in Saigon was a hundred times better. The capsule ones I've stayed at in Japan and other places way better. This is super, super bare bones. This would be like a $10 a night place in most other places. Not the 50 bucks a night they're pulling. But as I said, we're not gonna be here much, so it doesn't matter. We are gonna go downstairs and get rid of a lot of the stuff I have and then put it in the locker and then go start filming. All right, what's up everybody? We're gonna have our first meal and it's gonna be a Shake Shack. Cool with that though. Shake burger. That's what we're getting. And then we got the cheese fries. I'm not a big frozen custard guy, but it is good. They got a bunch of beers on tap. Doesn't look to be anybody from my own place. We're going home break. Hello. Can I get a shake burger single? And then uh, cheese fries, and just a Coke or a Pepsi. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hmm? Have you been Eating here, yeah. Got the original. I'm loud in here, so. Didn't get a double because we're going to eat a lot of food today. It's a small burger when you get the single. You know, it's a traditional smash burger. Got some foam my fries. Mm. Not good. That's really good. Mm.
Wow. Wow. That's phenomenal. Delicious. This is better than Shake Shack I've ever had in the state. No joke. Do a little mustard here. Everything was prepared fresh. The fries just came out of the fryer. The burger was just made. That's better than any Shake Shack I've ever had. That's awesome. Mm. If you bought that quality of a burger at a Saigon, and consistently put out the same stuff, you will kill it. This is delicious. Oh. Mm. I could eat something like that every day. It's a very simple smash burger. Cheese, burger sauce, tomato. That's really it. I think there was something else on there, but a little bit of lettuce. Oh. There's some other vloggers there right now. Yeah. This is going to be a high score. exactly what I want from a burger. From a fry. Phenomenal. As far as like a first meal here, I, I'm not disappointed. Oh, that's delicious. So you saw the, the airport entrance. You saw the subway footage to get here. You saw the slight walking tour into the capsule hotel. The only disappointment is the hotel is straight up a hostel and they sold it like a capsule hotel. Which usually isn't a hostel. Usually they'll give you a plug in the queue. Sure, I could have looked at the pictures and stuff. I saw it was simplistic, but usually within those cubes, if it's a good cube hotel, it's like you're in your own little private room in a cube. This is exactly like a hostel. There's no chargers anywhere, no charging ports. There's one to share downstairs. I don't know how the place is so high rated. Singapore is very expensive. A hotel room is 200 bucks a night right now because we're on a holiday, national day. But as far as this meal goes, everything else is great here. This is going to be the end of the first vlog. I'm going to go shoot a bunch of content right now. That was an 8.8 .8 burger. I've had Shake Shack five times in LA. Never was good. It's always greasy. It wasn't cooked right. Stuff came out soggy. That just hit. That's literally what I'm looking for for a first meal. So far, I'm loving Singapore. It's a fantastic place. It's, the architecture is crazy. You'll see when we go walk around. I'm in Chinatown right now. We'll go walk around Chinatown. Hmm. I'm going to try to give you the perspective of all different kinds of things to do in Chinatown and in Singapore. We're going to do touristy stuff, non-touristy stuff. I'm going to show you the bars. I'm going to show you restaurants. 
I always eat a safe meal as my first meal. All right, guys, that was the first vlog for Singapore. See you on the next one.